What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to create a vanilla Minecraft server for Minecraft 1.7.5 on your Mac. Here we go! So the first thing you want to do is head to the description of the video and click on the two links I have. Minecraft.net slash download and of course the Minecraft wiki on setting up a Minecraft server because you are going to need a bit of text. So on minecraft.net slash downloads on the multiplayer server section of the website you need to click minecraft underscore server dot one dot seven dot five dot jar. This will go straight to your downloads folder. After that is done just minimize your browser and create a new folder. We are going to call it minecraft underscore server. You are then going to drag the dot jar you just downloaded into the minecraft underscore server folder and then you will rename that dot jar to just minecraft underscore server dot jar just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to open up text edit. You want to go to format make plain text. You want to open up the minecraft wiki link and head down to this box right here. You want to copy and paste everything from this box into your text edit file. Now here's the thing where it says XMX1G and XMS1G. The G stands for gigabytes. This is for how much RAM you want to allocate to your server. So to check how much RAM you have on your computer, click the Apple logo and click About This Mac. As you can see, I only have four gigabytes of RAM. I'm just going to leave it at one gigabyte. Now, of course, if you have more, if you have more RAM on your computer, or if you do have four gigabytes of RAM, but you do want to upgrade the RAM from one gigabyte, you can always change it to two gigs just like that, or to three gigs, just like that. But I'm going to leave it at one, because I think that's pretty reasonable. And then you are going to go to File, Save. You're going to save it in your Minecraft server folder as start.command. Click Save. Now let's exit out of that. Let's minimize our text edit window. Make sure you have your Minecraft server folder open for this next part. Then you want to click Terminal. In terminal, you want to type chmod space a plus x space. You want to drag your start file right here after chmod space a plus x space. Then click enter. All right, now you can exit out of terminal. Now double click on your start.command. As you can see, it is opening up the Minecraft server. Once that is done, you should see a little thing right here that says done. And now to access the Minecraft server on your computer, it is actually really, really easy. In your server address field in multiplayer, all you have to type is localhost, then click join server. Remember, this is only for, for your computer that's running the server. Other computers will not be able to type localhost and won't be able to go on the server. As you can see, I am on the server right now and everything seems to be running okay. So I'm just going to disconnect. Now, port forwarding. How do I port forward? Well, I have a really helpful link from another awesome YouTuber in the description below who actually tells you how to port forward. It's about a six minute video. Now, in order for this to work, you need to have Java 7 or higher. A link to the Java download site will be in the description below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will happily, happily answer it. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe for more cool content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, and I'm signing off.